Principles and Practice of Learning and Teaching, led to Unit 6. The Effective Teacher. Now, to understand the importance of uh, teachers' characteristics and the behaviors associated with effective teaching, let's see what kind of teachers are considered effective, right? There are many types of teachers out there, and the, these, some of these terms here uh, for some researchers and students and parents determines the effective teacher. The effective teacher is the ideal teacher. The effective teacher is an analytic teacher. Effective teachers are effective teachers. Uh, dutiful teachers, competent teachers, expert teachers, Reflective teachers, satisfying teachers, and diversity responsive teachers. Right? So these are some of the teachers' terms that have been used to uh, label an effective teacher. So do teachers actually fall into one of these categories? Or are all of us effective or not effective? happen to be a combination of several of these things, of these terms. Respected teachers. So in the end, an effective teacher is a respected teacher. Now, defining effective teaching. Uh, as we noted, there are many ways to define good teaching. Many researchers express the feelings, many of us, uh, of many of us, when they suggest that good teachers are caring, su supportive, concerned about the welfare of students, knowledgeable about their subject, able to get along with parents, administrators and colleagues, and genuinely excited about what they do. However, despite the value of these characteristics, they overlook the fundamental fact that teachers are expected to help students learn, right? Um, early research shows that the effective teacher is the teacher who got high ratings from superiors. Sounds very close to what uh, we now hear in many places, yeah? the KPI. You fulfill the KPI, then you are an effective teacher. All right, so these are the terms of this particular institution. If you fulfill all this, then you're an effective teacher. So many of these terms of KPIs relate to teacher's buoyancy, cooperativeness, dependability, emotional stability, expressiveness, forcefulness, judgment, mental alertness, personal magnetism, physical drive, and ethical behavior. Clearly, teachers are now held accountable for their effectiveness in uh, helping students learn content. But what do teachers do that makes them more or less effective? The question has been the focus of research for many, many years. In fact, for over a century, educational researchers have attempted to identify effective teachers. Right? And uh, these were the terms used to identify um, effective teachers in the early